Alright guys, what's up? How's it going? Iron Man here. And today what I have for you is a really unique video that I have actually never seen on YouTube uh, before myself. And this is going to help a lot of users and everything. But before we get into it, I just want to state that as always, I get questions about my theme and stuff. So if you have questions about the theme I'm currently using or anything of the sort, all of that in information and links will be in the sidebar, which is actually in my repo, which is apt.podulo.us. Uh, sadly, but surely, we had to change it for uh, various reasons that um, I will not be stating in this video. But if you're wondering why um, you download this theme and you don't have the same lock screen as me is because I modded it myself so um, look out for a video on that so let's get into this and what this video is really about again theme and everything will be in the sidebar what I'm going to show you today is how to run uh, as well I don't want to say run but how to use any firmware your heart desires whether it be for your iPod your iPhone your um, iPhone 3G and 3GS. This works for all generations, every iPod. And yes, when I say any firmware, I mean it. You can be in an iPod 2G, 3G, first gen, and you could be running 1.1.4, 1.1.1, 1 1.0 if you wanted to. Um, I don't really mean run, so don't get ahead of yourself. I'm going to explain everything in this video, so you must listen carefully because there is a catch like always but without that you know with that said I excuse me um, let's get on with this and we'll show you uh, what exactly I mean here so we're gonna go into my settings application and we're gonna show you um, my current firmware that I am running right now so we're gonna scroll down to general and we're gonna click on the general tab and we're going to click about now here's the awesome part as you can see right here, I'm currently on version 1.1.4 um, with the 4A102. So, this is the unmodified firmware from Apple 1.1.4. Now, let's go back and we will go back to the home screen. It says I'm on 1.1.4, but as you can see when we scroll to the spotlight, I am obviously on 3.0 or higher and for not that it matters but I am currently running 3.1.2 on this device yes you can see right here that it is different um, just saying that so don't get comments I modded the phone so I've done been doing a lot of modding so I need to tweak it up a bit so what is this for how do I get it and why do I need it well it's for specific users and really if I if I actually need to say why you would need this then you probably shouldn't be downloading this and you probably don't even need to be watching this video what this does is tricks your device into thinking you're on this firmware but in theory obviously you're not on this firmware so what is it called how do I get it it is in Cydia and it is in the community source so you automatically have this by default and it's called WF changer now we're going to go into the app and we're actually going to run this to give you a demonstration of how I have mine set up. So we're going to go into it. As you can see here, uh, there is a quick splash screen. WF Changer. There's no other pages. Here it is. What you can do is scroll down and click on the preset firmware versions that they have made for you available. And what this does is create, it auto creates the build and the firmware version. So there's no typing it in if you're lazy or if you don't know the build of that specific version that you are wanting or desiring for any specific use. So I can go ahead and click on 1.1.2 and there I have it. Um, the second I respring and or restart it will give you the Apple logo it will reboot sort of speak really fast and there you have it you are technically in theory on your version that you wanted so let's check for example we can check the firmware and now we are on 1.1.2 with the build right next to it in parentheses so we can go ahead and click OK it will get we can click on the about it tells you who it's from and basically, as you can see there, it says spoof your firm firmware version, version, excuse me, and it is by GoJohnnyBoy. Uh, and if you don't know who he is in Cydia by now, um, you probably haven't been jailbroken that long. But the cool part about this is you can enter in your custom firmware if you happen to know the build. If you don't know the build, you can go ahead and look it up. 
but most of you are going to be using the preset custom ones anyway if you are going to be using this application so search for right here w uh, excuse me fw changer pretty sure i don't need to go through the installation process for you guys very quite simple because if you are going to be using this and you're thinking about using this you yourself should know how to go through the installation process or i'm hoping so again if you don't know why you would need this they're really i mean this isn't for you those of you who know what i'm talking about go grab this it's definitely works it's it, yeah, i mean it's flawless so there you have it probably longer than it should have been but needed to get through it for those users who might have wanted me to stick with this so have a good one and i will catch you guys in my next video peace